Quality of life. Quality of life. Quality of life. Quality of life. You know, you do not need an erection to live a life, right? It's just for a happier life. So, I try to be honest with my practice as best as I can. That's the first thing I always try to do. Because uh, I don't, uh, you know, uh, sell my surgery, actually. I don't want to. Because uh, because it's not a you know, must surgery, it's not optional surgery. That's the first thing, to be honest. When it comes to surgical results or uh, when it comes to you know, uh, promises I make, I'll always try my best to be as honest as I can. And you made me happy. And what we are doing as prosthetic urology, we made a human, a male and a female, happy with our surgery. And this is something unique. Uh, which is not because I am an onco oncological surgeon and even oncologist, but uh, also prosthetic urologist. This feeling is is something different, and this is the real quality of life. Always keeping in mind that it's not the patient is not just a number. The patient is a person, and the patient is uh, is we have you know personal relationships with these patients and we have to keep these kind of like making sure that these patients um, are um, are treated as human beings and that we care uh, about them personally. The second part is that uh, I try to do a better practice every day. How? I do the, try to do the research more. I run a private practice. I'm not a so-called uh, professor or, uh, or academic person. But still, you don't have to be a professor to run a research. Why? Because those researches are a better patient care. So I uh, recently had a good luck having a Dr. Lee, Gupin Lee with me, uh, he's doing a research a lot so we can do, uh, we can study more into our field to be a better practice so that we can implement a better technique to our practice. Goal is for better medical care for patients. Uh, it sounds too obvious research make us think and study about this surgery and scientifically confirm that our medical practice is truly right. Uh, thinking about right medical practice um, make us as a better as a doctor. Maybe it is for better medical care for patients. This is our goal. The new uh, trend in medicine is to try to uh, focus mainly on quality of life of patients and patient satisfaction. So ultimately we want to try to improve techniques, uh, we want to improve our skills, we want to keep updated and uh, keep on uh, interacting and collaborating with other leading experts in order to try to improve uh, uh, surgical devices and techniques. Because ultimately what we want is to try to improve uh, surgical outcomes, to improve quality of life and patient satisfaction. A third part is that I try to do a training uh, of the other physicians, not just uh, like uh, my fellow uh, Gupin Lee, research fellow Gupin Lee, but the other physicians from all different parts of the world. We have to learn to live with that and we can actively develop this and this is a very important point. I'm not doing that just for them. I'm doing that to train myself further with my surgery so that I don't have to you know, fake myself of a good being a good surgeon. No, I'm still at my stage of the, you know, development. I'm not there yet. But still, I do my best to give them the best, uh, one of the, you know, a satisfiable result that they can ever have. Try to be a humanized 
surgeon, a surgeon that can hopefully deliver a good quality of care to my patient and more importantly, make a positive impact on the patient life. So that patient then will say to me, Dr. Chung, you have helped me and you have made me a better person. I think that is what I really want to do for future research. So in total, human being, uh, one can never be a good physician unless uh, he becomes a, a, a good human being. So I'll try to be a you know, better person than I do now, every day and every moment, because I know I'm not there yet. Second thing is that uh, I always try to study more. I know I need more study. Uh, there's much more room for me to improve my skill sets because prosthetic urology is still in its uh, young, young I mean, stage of the uh, development. So uh, all those things, uh, training, researches, education, and all those things to be a better man and uh, so that I can be a better physician to my patients. That's what I do. Hopefully, uh, my, those efforts can transfer to a better practice and uh, I'll just do my best to keep my word. Mm -hmm.